Hello dear travelers, welcome to Manzanillo. Today we will be visiting Playa Miramar, the famous Santiago Peninsula, historic center and more. Make sure you watch the whole video for tips on where to stay in Manzanillo. We arrived to this gorgeous beach in Manzanillo. And it's so big, it's insane. girls like water. One dog likes water and the other one doesn't. The big boy doesn't like no water at all, no showers for him. The city of Manzanillo has two bays with about four miles of beaches each and they are separated by the Santiago Peninsula. We are now in the Santiago Bay and this is the most popular site to go to the beach. It has many beaches with a shallow calm waters and restaurants. The most popular beaches here are Playa Miramar and Playa Palmitas. Although we couldn't tell where one ended and the other one began. I love <laughs> you have plenty of entrances for the beach. You can get in from anywhere. And mostly everywhere you're going to find this uh, rental chairs and umbrellas. If you want to rent the chairs, it's 250 pesos for the whole day. Now look the view you get. If you go to the north side of the bay, you will find Playa Boquita and it's kind of hidden on a residential neighborhood called Santiago's Club. So this is Playa Boquita. It's the northernmost part of Santiago Bay. Uh, to get in here, you have to go through the Club of Santiago. There's a gate there, but you just tell them you're going to the beach and they'll let you in. And these beaches, very busy beach and looks like a nice shallow water and a lot of restaurants here to choose from right around the right on the water Let's go to the most famous and the most beautiful part of the city, Santiago's Peninsula. Here you will have the gorgeous white homes and the hotels overlooking the bay and the Pacific. Here you will also have one of the best beaches in town called Playa La Audiencia. We arrived to the hotel zone and a beach and you can see that there is parking that you can just park around the streets right here whatever you find available and also they have a paid parking that costs a hundred pesos that it's a little bit closer to the beach. All right, so when you're coming in, you have your uh, boutique store, like a jewelry store, really cool stuff. That's necklace. Water is very clear. For people that like snorkeling, 
it's pretty crystal clear I love the view those houses have on top of the hill look how pretty they're just facing the gorgeous gorgeous view of the ocean oh, look at this house how pretty it is and it's beautiful hotel So we just arrived to Playa La Audiencia, located in the Santiago Peninsula. This is where they say it's one of the nicer beaches in the area, and it is very beautiful. It's so different because they have here black sand. It's a volcanic sand, so you have a mix of both sands, and it looks stunning. And you also have activities here to do. You have a party boat that will take you around the ocean for two and a half hours, drinks included, and... How much is it? 450, 450 per person for two and a half hours. We also have a jet ski. If you link to jet ski for about half an hour, 1200 per uh, for two people. And we have a water park, a pretty cool one with trampoline and different type of uh, stuff there for kids that they can just enjoy there for the whole hour for 250 pesos only. If you're looking for a, to rent a chair with an umbrella, there is two sizes here. You have a smaller one and you have a larger one. And it's 250 for the larger one and 200 for the smaller one. And it's for the whole day. Another thing we notice here, the, the beach is not large beach. It's pretty clean. The water is amazing. It's clear. If you like to snorkel, it's perfect. And there is no tourists here. You see only local people. But it's amazing. And wonderful views of the homes over here. People that live here are living good. Oh yeah, they have a good view right here. Oh Beautiful. yeah. They have also some hotel here, but it's not overcrowded. That's the beauty about it. And it's pretty, pretty quiet here. Yeah, you can only hear the waves. If you want to relax here on the beach, there's a massage table right here on the beach. For 45 minutes, 400 pesos. Good deal, so you can relax a little more. And if you need a restroom, you have the bathrooms here, right next to the beach. Before we move on to the next, if you like the content, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm and it will show it to more people that want to learn more about traveling in Mexico. Now let's take a look at the Manzanillo Bay side of the city. On this side of the city is where you will find most businesses like banks, Walmart, Starbucks, and more American brands so you can feel comfortable. Here you will also find Playa Sal Agua with its long stretches of beach and the beautiful all-inclusive Hotel Barcelo Carmina right by the hotel zone. The beach here is now recommended for kids to swim in. The waves here are strong and the water gets deep fast. Here we saw a stingray off camera and we were lucky enough to catch a couple of whales not far from the shore. And it's super clean. You can see the bottom of the ocean. is a central historical or historic center. Here's a great place to hang out for the day. You have a lot of shoppings and restaurants, 
go for a walk on the Malecon and enjoy the art sculptures like the giant 25 meters tall sailfish and the zodiac sign sculptures. Alright guys, so right now we're in the Malecon of Manzanillo. Sun a little shade because it's a little hot today. So one of the cool things about Manzanillo, if you're a fisherman, you love to fish, Manzanillo is known as the selfish capital of the world. Wow. So it even has a huge selfish statue. Uh, statue, art, very beautiful, it's huge, very big. And the heavier competitions that people actually come in to compete who gonna catch the biggest one. Yeah, they have a few of them a year, international and national competitions. So if you're a fisherman, you love to fish, this makes it a good destination for that. And it's the port city. So uh it's a we're actually I'm not gonna say it from here, but huge port. Well not huge, big port. <laughs> here in the, in the town so um, that's one of the things to do other than going to the beach now Manzanillo is known for the beach that's when you google some of the things to do here nine out of ten is beaches yeah they're, they're gorgeous <laughs> here and you're gonna see in this video plenty of beaches that we're gonna show you that you can go and visit obviously here on the Malecon there is no beach it's mostly like fishing boats and the port for the cargo boats and besides that you can just walk here on the Malikon. You do here have here a lot of houses. And another thing that was interesting that when we was searching for Manzanillo videos, we've seen a lot of white houses on the hills. And we imagined that it looks like a Greece. Everything was white. And when we arrived to this part of the city, actually everything is colorful and beautiful as Mexican buildings as always, as we know. So we're gonna show you that part as well. So yeah, it's only one part of the city that is all the white buildings and some of the areas, it's also some white buildings. But when you go to the old town and central, it's your typical Mexican style, colorful buildings. So since we're in the selfish capital of the world, I found out some prices for you so you can go out fishing here if you don't have your own boat. So for a tour of up to six people on the fishing boat here to take you on the open sea for big game, uh, for six hour ride, 6,600 pesos, 6,600 pesos and they will everything that you fish you keep and they will fillet it for you, they will clean it for you. And if you don't want big game, you want to stay here in the bay, uh, five hours, 5,500. Now that you fell in love with Manzanillo and want to travel here, let us tell you where's the best places to stay when you visit and feel safe. We will start with the best one and it's the most beautiful part of the city. Santiago Peninsula or Hotel Zone. Here you will find many hotels that are overlooking the ocean. Next, the Barcelo Carmina All-Inclusive Hotel. It is really beautiful place to stay but really pricey. And finally you have Santiago's Club all the way north of Santiago Bay. This is a beachside gated community close to Playa Boquita. This is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for being with us today. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future adventures. And see you on the next one.